world-renowned speed painter was performing in St. Pete yesterday. But unless you had some fins and goggles and were literally in the pool with him, you probably did not see the work of art that he created. But Brightside Sean Stryker was there. Sean, were you in the pool? I was in the pool, Rob. Yeah, I mean, can I just tell you, I love that tease you had about watercolors and underwater. It was, uh, yeah. it was very clever, because uh, like you said, this painting was done underwater, scuba tanks and all, and which is fitting because it was done at Admiral Farragut Academy, which teaches its students how to scuba dive. It was a very cool experience for those who were watching and those who were assisting as well. Painter Michael Israel is used to making a splash. The world-renowned speed painter is known for creating larger-than-life paintings in front of live audiences in mere minutes. Although I like to call it live-action artwork. But this performance is a little bit different. Can I be in it from down here? We're here to do the first ever underwater speed painting, as it's called. You heard right, underwater. Using a scuba tank to breathe, Israel will complete his painting at the bottom of an eight-foot pool. And with the new environment comes new challenges. When I normally paint, I'm grounded. And in the water, even with the weight belts, I'm like, whoa, wait a minute. Israel uses a special rubber-like paint so that it doesn't dissolve in the water. And it's more like silly putty almost trying to paint with it. Assisting Israel are dive students from Admiral Farragut Academy, a military academy in St. Petersburg that the painting will benefit. I've seen like videos of people speed painting before, but watching it happen underwater is just so cool. At first you couldn't tell what it was, but um, it was just absolutely incredible. I've never seen anything like it before. I think the best artwork is not what's on the canvas, but what comes out of it. The people it inspires, the, the support it raises for worthy endeavors. So that's what my art's really about. It just I jump around and spin canvas and throw paint or go underwater just to get your attention so the message will get through. So a lot of the art that Israel creates is for a good cause. This one, like I said, is going to Admiral Farragut Academy, which is just off in the distance. It's a little dark, a little hard to see. He will be performing there on April 6th. That performance will be above water. However, the painting he did, the one of Albert Einstein, will be auctioned off at that performance with all the proceeds going back to that military academy.